Good morning, my lovely Taurus, and welcome to your February reading. Can you guys believe it? It's already February. A lot of magic is coming your way. Look at the wave. It almost looks like a wave. A wave of wisdom and crown chakra activation. Well, anyway, <laughs> before we start, even though this is for February, you can see this whenever it comes to you. My readings are always timeless, so take what resonates, leave the rest, flip the roles. You can be male, you can be female. Before we start out with the cards, I do want to go through some intuitive messages first. This month is really going to work in your favor. Things are working in your favor. People are working with you. People want to help you. People see you. Where you feel like you might have been hidden from the world or from a specific person or with something you're creating, suddenly you realize that people actually see you. They see what you create. And I feel that is going to really spark your creative senses. You come to a conclusion with the power that you have, with what you create. And especially at the end of the month, there is a sweet surprise for you. A reward and I see that you're holding your hands over your heart you're having your eyes closed and you say to yourself it is all going to work out and you're breathing deeply in and out and there is this big release happening with something that you were worried about another message that I got is someone said watch what you eat there might be something with gluten for some of you guys there might be something that you know that could make you sick. If your intuition at any time guides you with a wonky feeling, listen to it. There might be something with something that's being prepared, like or at a, at a res restaurant or something like that. Just pay attention. If you have a wonky feeling, just pay attention. Obviously, we can take this message, watch what you eat in many ways, because it could be, you know, something with gluten, could be something with with sugar. Like, don't eat too much sugar this month. In the beginning of the month, there might be something about education. If something gets delayed or something gets cancelled, it will solve itself out at the end of the month. So don't worry. For some of you guys, there might also be something with a trip. It could be linked together with school. It could maybe even be linked together with someone's son or daughter. But like I said, it is going to work itself out at the end of the month. You are attracting something new in love. No matter if this is a level up in a relationship or if it's a new soulmate. With this energy, but there is so much caring respect and love for each other so it is so balanced and yes it's also about you know the hugging the kissing the sex but there's just something else in this with this new person or like i said with this level up so let's see the first card that you have is wow very blossoming and summer like oh well summer that's so interesting because Aries actually also got something in summer. And we have gotten a lot of summer signs. Pay attention to birds. Now this is like, I don't know if it's apples, oranges, maybe that's a hint. Like apples and oranges will really protect your immune system. It is going to help you a lot. Expansion. Wow. All right. Star Ancestor, follow the voice of your soul. Ooh, we like that. Okay, so, like I did with Aries, let's just read through this first. Your intuition constantly senses the voice of spirit. <laughs> if that's not interesting, follow the voice of your soul. Wow. Yeah, and conveys this through emotion and feeling. The spirit's great love and wisdom continuously flows through you like a stream of soft diamond light. Stop for a moment and feel this beautiful flow of energy. Allow it to permeate every part of you. You and spirit are one. 
and the wine by Invisible Threads of Love. I can see that the battery is blanking, so I might just fix that first. All right, we are back with a new battery. So let's continue. Expansion. I do like that energy of that card. There's a lot of freedom. I also have this feeling of the expansion being you expanding your life or maybe this has something to do with a garden or a property, house, you know, whatever. It didn't work. Solid, very beautiful solid energy. Let's see what else we can get with the Spring Guardian of Summer. There is this typical energy of being afraid of change. Kind of feel like you got that card last time too. And it's interesting because I feel I got that card too. With like leaving a soulmate or leaving old belief systems. Doesn't have to be a person, but for some of you guys there might be something with a person. Capricorn. It might be something with belief systems. Don't panic just because the devil is here. Do not panic. But something is stopping you from actually manifesting your dreams and desires. There's something happening here. Expansion is also that, you know, you need more space, more freedom. Maybe you are in a relationship where you are being controlled or you feel you're being controlled with where you work, where you live, in your country, your city. There's something that's holding you back that shouldn't hold you back, especially because there is so much more vitality coming your way. There's, you know, restoring, rest restoration, restoration, I don't know if I can say that, restoration of health. There's success coming your way, there's abundance, there's healing, passion. Everything is being, everything is expanding in your life. But especially with these two cards, and especially with this card and this card, you can't just sit and wait for it to happen. Not saying that you are. But as humans, we do sometimes have a tendency to sit and wait, right? The energy of this summer feeling. There is this energy of working with your passions and use this passion to move into the direction of your dreams. I feel you're going to get a lot of rewards for what you put out there. There is a lot of rewards waiting for you. Don't fear this change. Don't be trapped by past habits or past feelings, past worry. Work hard, play hard. Because it's all going to pay off. Because for someone out there, and obviously, you know, you can take this as you feel, because it could also be a person who is resisting to move towards you, or someone that you know who is resisting when it comes to moving somewhere, moving with you, in your pace. But I can't ignore that the first card is the death card, and that is resisting change. Maybe there's something when it comes to a Scorpio, something from your past, an old flame, old friends, or something that happened that still keeps you trapped when it comes to you putting yourself out there or putting your creation out there. Whatever it is that you do, whatever you want to do, do you really put yourself out there? You're starting to see things as they truly are. Maybe you do uh, realize that you are resisting this change. Or you realize that someone is holding you back. Something. I like that you are actually looking at the future with brighter eyes, with optimistic energy, with a more optimistic energy. Sometimes the lack that we experienced in the past actually makes us stop 
it makes us avoid moving on. And I feel for a lot of you guys, it has something to do with something that you are creating, with your craft, with your skills. There is a circle that's about to come to an end. So you have to move with this beautiful new summer feeling. I keep sneezing all the time. <laughs> okay, with that, let's see what um, the ancestors has to say. I feel a lot of you guys are actually are working or experiencing new spirit guides. You feel lighter, they want you to feel lighter. Yeah, there is the energy of blocking your intuition. You are so powerful and strong. Don't block your skills or your abilities. Maybe you're in a relationship with someone who doesn't understand you, or you have co-workers or friends who doesn't support you, doesn't understand. You know, if you're someone who's very spiritual and you are doing tarot cards or crystals and you have people around you who are like, I don't get that. That is hocus pocus. Don't believe in that. Yeah. Screw them. Absolutely screw them. Because you are the queen of wands. You are creative, you're optimistic. You are actually letting go of the triggery, of the no-sayers, of the anxiety. Whatever kept you trapped. You believe in your skills. Yeah. You do. There might be someone who is coming in from the past, maybe even someone from your uh, school days, <laughs> your childhood, who is coming in to actually show you how powerful you are, how much you moved. And it might be someone who present themselves as a negative thing because they say something negative to you, but it is for you to realize how far you have come. In the past, I do feel that <clears throat> you have had a tendency to look down on yourself. But you don't do that anymore, I heard. You are so much more optimistic. But there was this tendency to give up on something. Giving up on what you created. Giving up on, on yeah, just showing who you are. How effing beautiful and magical you are. How powerful you are. I do believe that you have spirit guides following you. Don't surrender too quickly. Especially when the Seven of Swords comes up. There's something when it comes to the healing and the growth of your abilities and when it comes to you sharing that with the world. And there's a lot of beings who are actually there to show you exactly that. Your abilities, your magic. You are connected with higher beings. Maybe there's something with astrology, a stars, or tapping into the universe, right? There is a deeper purpose with your human journey, but also your spiritual journey. You're not supposed to hide. Especially with this, again, follow the voice of your soul. The voice of spirit. Your intuition. You have, yeah, you sense constantly, you feel constantly, you get inputs constantly. But do you follow up on them? Do you believe them? Let's see what the message is with that. You are being guided to take a step here. And uh, I will bet my old hat on the fact that this card, this card and this card came up in the general reading. Take a leap of faith. Trust. This, the, the change is pushing you. And the healing, we spoke about that. Leaving behind what's not good anymore. Last card. Make it a good one. Oh, yeah. Don't worry about money. Don't worry about um, being able to make money with what you want to put out there. Because that will happen. The moment you move yourself away from the anxiety and the, the bad thoughts. The ego thoughts. The fear. There might be a new job for you. Or you becoming self-employed. There might be something with education, something that you want to do, that you really go after and you believe in it. You don't give up on it. Some of you guys might even recover from a loss. And this could be the loss of your old identity, the old you. No matter what was attached to the old you. It could be fear, it could be weight, it could be a person, it could be a place. It could be hate, it could be anger. You are feeling strong again. 
and it makes the money flow. Don't be afraid of going after your dreams and desires. Don't be afraid of going after the money because you deserve money. Start to appreciate the tiny things in your life. Just the feeling that you can, you know, be so strong in yourself. The optimistic feelings. Feed them. Your life doesn't have to be difficult. That is the, the loudest message that I can give you. I do feel that it is very dark, but you guys should be able to see it. You and spirit are one. I got told to read that up for you again. Entwined by invisible threads of love. Intertwined, entwined. Hmm. Mixed together. <laughs> but I feel that it's going to be it for you. You know what to do. Go out there, shine your light. Don't be afraid. Let me know if this resonated. If you are in need of a private reading, healing session, or removal of flux, all information is down below. Remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you in my next reading. Bye!